I'm a little older than I look. I'm a lesbian, so I'm like a 15-year-old boy forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm in my early 30s, and a strange thing happened to me. I don't know if it's my age, or I don't know if it's me feeling settled and comfortable with this woman that I'm gonna marry. Not settled in a bad way, just together and supported. But I'll tell you, whatever it is, about six months ago, a change came over me. <laughs> Every night at 11 p.m., if I'm still awake, I find that I want to have a baby. <laughs> and I get that you might think, well, sure, you got the equipment. No, this is new shit. I mean, they don't even make maternity vests, so what would I wear? <laughs> have a baby. I never thought I would grow a baby. I thought I'd parent kids, but I thought I'd like buy or steal kids. Like I thought that's how I'd get it. I never thought I'd grow them in my body. I mean, when babies are born, they have head hair on their head. They have fingernails and teeth and their gums. So that means before they were born, that mom had head hair inside of her body. And if you're okay with that, who are you? Like whenever I imagine childbirth, I just imagine a baby sticks like just one little arm out of my vagina and then just unzips me. <laughs> I don't feel great about it, but my body against my will is just keep me up at night going, I want to build something! <laughs> keep trying to feed it Lego sets and now my apartment is covered in ships. <laughs> There's got to be some straight people out there tonight. If there's any straight people, I want you to know I'm an advocate. <laughs> Actually, it's way more my symbol than yours. No. <laughs> you guys, it's amazing. Do you ever think about the fact that you can make a free baby? <laughs> Cause mine's gonna cost me something. We're gonna have to order in. Ah, uh, you guys, your, your genitals fit together. I mean, just to bring it back to Legos, you know what I, just... <laughs> Snap! Isn't that amazing? You can have pleasure at the same time. Genitals snapping again. Admittedly, I might not understand heterosexual sex. <laughs> There's a chance snap is the worst noise you could hear. <laughs> yeah, but for us to experience pleasure at the same time, it's a lot tougher, you know? And you gotta really make sure you washed your butt. <laughs> You guys get where the women are? <laughs> Write it down, take it home, figure it out later. <laughs> I think the great thing is, listen, I don't want to make a promise to you, like that I'm for sure gonna have a baby. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Don't hold me to this. But I just want you guys to know that there would be a positive aspect. I mean, besides the child that I would obviously love enough so that they eventually took care of me. <laughs> no, I mean, there'd be an amazing side effect in that for once in my goddamn life, <laughs> my period would not be completely fucking useless to me. <laughs> because I have never had a pregnancy scare. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a female comic. And I'm standing up here and I just said the word period. Oh, how hack. Oh, how unnerving. Oh, how disgusting. There's gonna be some guys out there. Oh, period. Oh, how disgusting. Listen, if you're a guy out there and you think periods are disgusting, I don't believe you've ever had an honest conversation with a woman. Because if you think periods are disgusting, you have no idea how disgusting periods are. Actually. You shouldn't even be able to say 
the word disgusting without a little vomit rising up into your throat. That's how disgusting periods are. I wake up in the night and I am bleeding out of my body. A crime scene. My body is bleeding out of my body. My body is smashing my body out of my body using my body. My body is wringing itself out like a hotel washcloth you might use again. But when it doesn't come out in, a, in an easy, clean, and pourable substance, so clear, chunks of my body are coming out of my body. Chunks of my body are being smashed out of my body by my body. Sometimes the chunks are so large, the only logical thing to do is to pick it up. And hold it in your hand just so you can marvel at it. It's the size of a strawberry. A non-organic, pesticide-ridden grocery store strawberry. A piece of my body. And this is not just happening to us at home, in our beds. This is happening to us on planes! We are on planes and a chunk of our body is falling out. We run to the bathroom, whip out a dirty thing and stuff it in the wall and take a clean thing out of our pocket, shove that in, it's very painful, and then go sit back in our seat for three and a half more hours. And this is happening to us at work! At work, we're just like, yeah, I can have that report for you to buy tomorrow. <laughs> so if you think periods are disgusting, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs>